Denver 7 News at 4. The family of a teenager killed near Denver's East High last year is suing the district. It's hard to pinpoint. What were they really sorry about? What they say the school should have done differently. Plus, the vice presidential candidates hit the debate stage. We need a new direction. We need a president who has already done this once before and did it well. Kamala Harris is bringing us a new way forward. She's bringing us a politics of joy. We take a look at the key moments and what comes next. And it may be October, but we're still feeling those summer temps. When we'll see a cool down next. Thanks so much for joining us here on Denver 7 News at 4. I'm Amy Wattis. The family of Louise Garcia, the 16-year-old teen who was killed outside East High School in early 2023, has filed a wrongful death lawsuit. They claim the school was negligent in providing a safe environment. We're learning more about that lawsuit and what they're asking from the school district. I'm Denver 7's Veronica Acosta. The family of 16-year-old Luis Garcia, who was shot and killed outside of East High School back in February of 2023, has filed a wrongful death lawsuit against Denver Public Schools, the Board of Education, and two unnamed individuals. We heard from the family's attorney on Wednesday morning. He read a statement from Luis's older brother, Santos. Take a listen. My brother was shot on February 13th, 2023. A day later, a school board member came to my brother's deathbed telling us they were sorry. It's hard to pinpoint what were they really sorry about. The lawsuit was filed on September 30th. This was just two days ago. In it, the Garcia family says East High School and DPS failed to uphold their legal duty under the Claire Davis School Safety Act by not maintaining adequate security measures like having school resource officers on site. The lawsuit also alleges DPS had been aware of escalating violence and failed to take necessary steps to prevent further incidents. During today's press conference, attorneys making it clear this is about accountability for the Garcia family. And let's be clear, and I think it's very uh, indicative of the Garcias. If this was a money grab, I would submit to you that they would have wanted to file this thing, file the suit right away. We reached out to DPD about an update on the case. They told us there is no update. The Denver DA's office told us the same thing. And Denver Public Schools told us they don't comment on pending litigation. In Denver, Veronica Acosta, Denver 7. I'm Claire Lavizorio for Denver 7. Pairing on last season's champions, the Celtics, on Friday and Sunday. Coming up on Denver 7 News at 5, we're taking a closer look at a lawsuit against Denver Public Schools from a family of a teen shot and killed last year, why his parents say the district failed their son, and what they're asking in return. Thanks again for watching Denver 7 News at 4. Stick around. Denver 7 News at 5 starts in just about 60 seconds.